the, was there something on my nose? <sighs> uh, Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you just subscribed, thank you. And if you are returning, excuse me, thank you for coming back. So today's video is going to be about my experience in Spain. So as you all know, oh my God, there's this cat that's in my Airbnb that's trying to touch me. Move, please move. Ow, move, 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 oh my god, move, move, I don't think this cat understands English, can you move, 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 I don't want to touch it, don't touch me, please, oh my god, move, okay, you're, can you move your tail that way, no, okay, move, Cats. Move. Move. Okay. So y'all know that I moved to Spain. I'm in Morcia, Spain. Um and y'all, it has been nothing short of a disaster here with this housing situation. So let me tell y'all what happened. So I had set up to live with two different girls at two different points on my trip. One of them canceled on me. Two days before I got here, so she was like, "Oh, um, she had there was a girl, a, a whole other girl, um, who had a, an apartment that she was leaving. She was like, oh, if anyone wants to live here, let me know. I can put you in contact with the landlord.' I commented and said that I did. Another girl, let's call her Marie. She said, "Oh, I'm interested too." Marie at the time was already here in Spain, so she went to go see the apartment, and she committed to it right then and there on the spot. Um, and she said, oh, okay, I'll send you pictures, you know, to make sure everything looks like how it said it would look and whatever. I, I. So she sent it to me. I said, okay, I'm interested and I'll come see it once I get here. Two days before I was supposed to come or day, the day before. I think it was two days before. I was like, hey, I'm coming on Thursday. I mean, Wednesday. Can I come see it? You know, the following morning. She says, oh, hey, she sends me this long message. This is Marie about how she was snooped on my social media and she saw that I post what I post and like that I'm on YouTube she, and she said I don't think I could live with someone who um, posts on such a forum and you and hopefully you find you know find someone who to live with someone who is equally as daring as you and I was just like girl you don't even know me like this is what I'm thinking I didn't even respond to her I was so annoyed or whatever but she was never my only option because I know that in life you can't depend on people and people will say one thing, but then they'll do another. So there was other girl. What do we could call this other girl? Let's call her. Let's call her Farah. Supposed to live with Farah. Okay, cool. So I I got to Spain, and the girl Marie canceled on me, and then so okay, I still have Farah. Okay, cool. Because I was like, okay, cool. I can live with Farah. Cause that was like she was like kind of my backup. Cause she wasn't really like I was even when I was back home and I was still back home in the States, but I was looking up apartments. Farrah wasn't doing nothing. So I could tell from the rip that she wasn't serious about this. I Me, mean, I'm very serious about where I live because that's the most important part, like your accommodations. Okay, cool. So I get here and then I meet this other girl. Well, I knew her already from like Facebook because you know, the people who do my program, like there's a big Facebook group for us. Um, she was like, she was also looking for a house, and I said, oh, cool, like, you can come live with us, me and Farrah, because it would have been cheaper, you know? And I was starting to look at nice apartments or whatever. Like, I was mainly doing all the work, so I said, okay, cool. I told Farrah, I said, I invited this girl, let's go call this girl uh, Ashley. And I was like, oh, I invited Ashley um, to live with us, is that okay, or whatever. She was like, yeah, she was like, okay, that's fine. I started showing her three-bedroom apartments, because it was three of us. Farrah was cool with it. On that day after I got there, the next morning, I handled some of my business. Me and um, Ashley, we went to take, um, we got our phones, we got our um, bank accounts or whatever. And so we also started looking at apartments. So we're looking at three bedrooms because it's supposed to be three of us. We really, you know, didn't find anything. We walked around the whole city calling numbers and all that. We went to talk to real estate agencies and all that didn't find nothing so I told I was telling Farrah about what happened she was like oh I don't know I don't want to live like you invited her to Ashley to live and I don't even know her yada 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 I was like you know what I don't even want to live with you because she was like I'm keeping my options open because I'm like we 
we were we were getting we were a little bit closer to finding a three bedroom i said you know what i don't want to live with you because you clearly don't know you clearly didn't state that you had a problem with the fact that i invited ashley to live with us from the beginning now farah didn't look up anything she was just like oh it's hard to do it from where i am my whole thing is this they get on the in the facebook group they post a list of websites where we can look it's like you know like the spanish version of craigslist and a whole bunch of like websites where people post their uh, available apartments and stuff she wasn't looking at none of that so when she did that i was just like you know what you i don't want to be i don't want to live with somebody like this i was so mad because mind you this is you now the second person that has ditched me so i'm like you know what? i don't want to i look i, I don't want to live with nobody so i, I felt bad because i actually did, hadn't done anything wrong in this situation but it was just like um I didn't want to even take that chance because I've been burned by like two people in like less than a week. And I'm just like, I don't have time for this. So what I did was I told Ashley and I felt bad and I started looking for studio apartments. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to go through a real estate agency because they can find me something quick. Um, and then no, obviously they have like, they have the actual properties. They have the connections. So I chose to go to the same one that me and Ashley had went to the day before and like I paid them or whatever. And y'all, my experience with them has been nothing short of terrible. They shut with two different people to uh, meet or whatever. One of, one of the apartments was okay. It was way overpriced though. Then the second one, the guy never showed up. So I went, my appointment was at like 2 o'clock. In, in Spain, they close everything down for a siesta at like 2.30, 3 o'clock. My appointment with that man was at 2 o'clock. He never showed up. By 2.10, I was in that real estate office. Like, this man did not show up. Y'all need to give me another apartment. And she was trying to give me something else, the woman I was working with, that was just as um, poorly priced. When I say poor, I mean it was very out of my, very much so out of my budget. So I told her, no, I saw this other thing that y'all posted, check and see if it's available. Now, the, the one that I found online it was still overpriced, but it was just the fact that I had, I was able to find something that she should have in her system. You understand what I'm saying? Especially if y'all are posting these things online. You're giving me stuff that's out of my price range purposefully when I told you my salary I told you what I can make and you're giving me stuff that's over half of my salary so I went to see that apartment because it was available the one that I had found the one I told her to set me up with and basically the apartment was okay it wasn't modern at all it was a one bedroom and I told you know the guy was it was the building manager that I met with he was really trying to get me to um take the apartment but I was like you know you need to lower your price he said I'm only gonna lower it twenty dollars and no more he said any other month I would lower it for you but because demand is so high I'm not lowering nothing for you I said and he didn't say it rude but it was just the fact that he would even say that to me like they these people know that their housing price is overpriced and they just give whatever price they want because they think that people are desperate enough to take it me I'm not desperate for anything. Coming to Spain was, I was never desperate to be here. I, I, I know my talents, I know my skills, I know that I can go anywhere in life and make the best of it and succeed in whatever I decide to do. I don't, I'm not that type of person that's desperate for any situation. So when he told me that, I said how, to myself, how can I, as a person of my moral character, consent to being unfairly cheated? Yo, that's the cathedral. So, I only set up my Airbnb for a week because I thought I would be able to find something. So now I'm going to have to leave my Airbnb, probably go to a hostel. And that's, you know, problems within itself because I'd rather have my own room. But it is what it is about that. Like, I'm not worried about that. My whole thing is if I don't find housing within a month, I'm going to just leave. I told my program, I said, you, they brought a lot of people to Morsi to this region. Um, the program that I'm doing is through the government and it's all throughout Spain. People don't want to come to Morsia because not only does the program pay late, it's notorious for that, but because of issues like this, like, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't have a problem with doing stuff on my own, but I've literally tried to do everything. I've looked up stuff ahead of time. I've set up, I've tried to find, set up to live with people. Roommate situations have fallen through. I went to a rental agency. This is going bad, and I'm about to go up there and get my money back on Monday, tomorrow. So, I've done everything that I can do. So, at this point, I'm contemplating, you know, my decision, like, and y'all, I've been here less than a week, so I feel like, you know, I should continue to be positive. That's one thing I am doing, like, 
these past few days I've been really down, but I say, you know what? Girl, get up. Everything is going to be okay. Whether I stay or whether I leave, everything's going to be okay because I'm a positive person and I know um, things just are going to work out because they just have to. Like, that's just the way the work, that's just the way things work. Things just have point. I'm low key, like, not really regret my decision, but I'm like, I'm waiting for these pros to start out wearing these cons because if they don't, I'm not going to stay because. I don't feel like I would, I'm never going to do, be, I'm never going to purposely put myself in a situation that doesn't benefit me. So right now, um, I've been just looking up stuff and trying to stay positive, but y'all, I really have had a time. Like I have so many story times to do in less than a week and I'm just like, and they're not positive story times. They're just like experiences that I've had here. Like, and it's not even just, a, so the staring thing is another thing that I've had to do with. It's clear that people in Morrissey like, are not used to seeing black people. Now there is a small immigrant, black Im black immigrant population from Africa, um, but that's about it. And so I get stared at wherever I go. Well, and it's not, you know, some people glance stare. It's like the younger people, they'll stare, but it's like, you know, more positive. But then like the older people, it's more like, uh, like the women and the men it's like hypersexualization. So right now I'm just like I know my worth and I add tax. It would be a shame for this program to say that they lost me. That's how I feel. And that's the truth. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated. When I find housing, I'll do a tour. If I don't find housing I'll show y'all me. I'll show y'all that I'm in the airport on my way back home. <laughs> Whatever. But I will definitely keep you guys updated. I just wanted to let you guys know that because when people are talking about their travels, they only talk about the good stuff. But it's a lot of bad that comes with it. Like, this is so difficult for me. Like, I, I, I'm never going to be homeless. I'm never going to be put myself in a position where I don't have anywhere to go. But this is like very difficult and there's so many people looking for housing and so many people that's having the same issues here that's doing the same program that I'm doing and so I'm mad because why would this pro the program shouldn't have brought so many people here young people at that and they knew that they didn't have the space like Morsi is a college town the college students that ran ran up and down the city and took all the apartments you understand what I'm saying what are we supposed to do come early and then waste money because we don't start getting paid till a month or two from now. So I'm wasting money? No, I'm not doing that. As a government agency, they should be contracting with landlords and owners of properties to set aside rentals for us. Y'all are a government agency. So I just can't believe like this is happening. Y'all, when I tell you I did my backpacking trip, I'm gonna link those videos down below, that video down below and, and the link to my blog down below. I love Spain. I went to Barcelona, Madrid, Seville, and Toledo. I went to four different cities and loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Now, housing is a little different. I already, I had set up Airbnbs and was staying with my friends and stayed in hostels and all that. Um, well, no, I didn't stay in hostels in Seville. But I tried to do everything I can. I tried to line all my ducks in a row. And with this, it's just like, I ain't even no ducks, it seemed like. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I'm trying my best. And I'm definitely staying positive. Like, because that's the only way I feel like I can get up every day and say, you know what? I'm going to demand better for myself. This agency is not trying to give me what I want, but I'm going to demand that they give me what I want. People are staring, so whatever. I, I ignore them. I don't, I don't feed into, like staring and stuff like that because I'm not giving people what they want which is to like acknowledge that they like like their staring is important to me but it's not so yeah y'all I'll let y'all know what happens with this housing thing um if you like this video please comment and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and rocking out with me um on my crazy journeys around the world I don't know um yeah, I have so many story times to do. I record a story time uh, soon about what I experienced.
because literally I've been here less than a week, y'all. The housing thing is one thing, but like it's been so many other things that have happened. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is crazy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys on my next video in space. Bye.